हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैं हूं आपका दोस्त महेश कुमार और आई स्टार्ट करते हैं क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू बॉयसी एंड फ्लोटेशन फ्रेंड्स बॉयसी एंड फ्लोटेशन चैप्टर का मैंने थ्रेटिकल पार्ट ऑलरेडी डिस्कस किया है उसका लिंक मैंने अपने डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दिया हूं आप वहां से उसे देख सकते हैं फ्रेंड्स क्वेश्चन से रिलेटेड कोई भी डाउट हो तो आप मुझे कमेंट बॉक्स में पूछ सकते हैं मैं उनका आंसर देने की पूरी कोशिश करूँगा सो फ्रेंड्स आइए स्टार्ट करते हैं क्वेश्चन ए वुडन सिलेंडर ऑफ स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एंड सर्कुलर इन क्रॉस सेक्शन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू फ्लोट इन ऑयल स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइन द एल बाई डी रेसियो फॉर द सिलेंडर टू फ्लोट विथ इट्स लॉन्गिट्यूडनल एक्सिस वर्टिकल इन ऑयल वेर एल इज द हाइट ऑफ द सिलेंडर एंड डी इज इज डायमीटर सो फ्रेंड्स इट इज सेंग दैट अ वुडन सिलेंडर इज देयर Wooden cylinder specific gravity is equal to 0.9 and the oil in which wood is there wooden cylinder is there its specific gravity is equal to 0.9 so we have to determine what is the l by d ratio correct now friends you see here this is the case this is wooden cylinder it is floating in the oil which is specific gravity is equal to 0.9 and here the body cylindrical body of specific gravity 0.6 0.6 its height is equal to h actually here l has uh, taken so we will put h equal to l okay friends capital h equal to l and the height inside the inside the oil the height of the uh, cylinder which is inside the oil is small h okay d is the diameter of the cylinder wooden cylinder l is the height i l i l d told and here you see g g is the center of gravity of the body g is the center of the gravity of the body which is lie at the l by 2 distance because l by 2 distance pe kya ho jayega iska center of gravity lie karega and center of buoyancy friends kahan lie karta hai jitna yah jo hai inside hai इन साइड द लिक्विड है इसके सेंटर पे जो है सेंटर अबी वर्क करेगा इट मीन्स हाफ ऑफ द एच बाई टू डिस्टेंस पर जो है सेंटर ऑफ बॉयसी वर्क करेगा सो जी इज द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी एंड बी इज द सेंटर ऑफ बॉयसी करेक्ट फ्रेंड्स गेटिंग जी इट विल वर्क द हाफ डिस्टेंस ऑफ द बॉडी इन दिस केस ओके एंड whatever b is there it will work at half distance of the height which is inside the oil okay friends now things should be clear hope okay so we have to find the l by d ratio okay friends now first we we will calculate what is the density of body density of body equal to how much 0.6 into 1000 so 600 kg per meter cube 0.6 is the specific gravity of the body and density of oil or we can say float equal to how much 0.9 so it will come 900 kg per meter cube correct right, friends now we will find weight of the body what is the weight of the body friends you know that weight of the body is equal to density of body g into volume of body correct and weight of fluid displaced how much weight of fluid displaced weight of fluid displaced how much friends weight of fluid displaced is equal to density of liquid or we can say density of fluid g into volume inside the fluid volume inside the fluid we know that friends according to archimedes principle weight of body equal to we can say if weight of the body the weight of the body is equal to weight of fluid displaced okay 
weight of body equal to weight of fluid displaced it means density of body equal to density of body sorry density of body into g into volume of body equal to density of fluid g into volume inside the fluid we'll put the value here friends g to g cancel out so density is equal to how much body is equal to 600 into volume volume is equal to what friends volume of the cylinder volume of the cylinder is equal to what area area is equal to kitna your friends since cross sectional area is dia equal to d dia equal to d so how much is there you can say this is a phi d dia equal to d so pi by 4 d square into total height total height is equal to how much friends this taken l equal to how much density of fluid is equal to how much friends 900 900 into volume of fluid is equal to how much friends volume of fluid is equal to area into this much height area into this is small h height because this much volume which is inside the liquid or inside the oil so only this much volume we will consider for volume of liquid displaced okay friends so how much is there pi by 4 d square because area is same into height height is equal to small h okay friends small h so from here friends you see here pi by 4 d square pi by 4 d square so this term will cancel out this term will cancel out so how much it will come friends the small h value equal to this value is equal to 600 h divided by 900 sorry 600 l 600 l divided by 900 is equal to 2 by 3 l okay friends 2 by 3 L. Now we are able to find here the value of a small h which is inside the oil. So a small h is equal to 2 L by 3 meter or you can say whatever unit is there. Getting friends, a small h value we are able to find. Now, now friends, we will find the metacentric height. We will find the metacentric height. We know that friends, in this case, here, just for simplifications, three point we will un uh, understand. This is the center of gravity point. This is the center of buoyancy point and this is the metacentric point. Okay, friends. For floating body, which is unstable, unstable or neutral equilibrium is there, it is decided by the metacentric height. So, this three point, this is the center of gravity, center of buoyancy and more and more point is there. Let's, it is top side, point M, which is metacenter point. Correct? So, metacentric height is equal to what? Metacentric height, metacentric height equal to friends g into m. This is we know that this is the metacentric height g m and g m is equal to what friends? This total b m minus b g. So g m is the metacentric height which is equal to the b m minus b g. And we know that friends b m is equal to what? moment of inertia we can say least least moment of inertia divided by volume of liquid displaced we can say volume of liquid displaced or volume of fluid okay here this is equal to the volume of fluid okay friends getting this vf equal to vf equal to this volume of liquid displaced minus this b and g okay friends this we will find
point now this bg bg value is equal to what bg value first we find so we know that bg value is equal to friends you see here this distance g distance from the top is equal to how much from the top this surface l l by 2 and this is small b sorry this g height is equal to how much l by 2 and h b height is equal to small h by 2 it means bg is equal to what l by 2 minus this h by 2 okay friends bg is equal to what from here you see friends how much this distance is equal to what this b g distance is equal to since here you see this is the center of the body g and this is center of buoyancy b so this distance sorry if you take this distance from the bottom it will come l by 2 and if this distance will take from the bottom it will come h by 2 okay friend so what is the b by bg bg is equal to l by 2 minus h by 2 okay friends so how much is there l by 2 minus h by 2 h by 2 is equal to what friends sorry h value is equal to how much 2 l by 3 into 2 so it will come friends l by 2 minus l by 3 so it will give the value here 6 3 l minus 2 l so it will come l by 6 b g okay so this distance this b and g value we are able to get l by l by 6 okay friends l by 6 is the distance b and g now what is the value of b m b m how much is there it is value is equal to i list upon volume of liquid displaced okay friends volume of liquid displaced now now we will find what is the value of i i list i list since friends in this case in this case the cross sectional area which is at the liquid surface the cross sectional area of the body which is at the liquid surface is called to what friends it is it will come a circular and the dia is equal to d correct so circle ke case mein kya hota hai moment of inertia least moment of inertia same only either you take x x or y y same it will come so it will come friends pi by 64 into d to the power 4 correct this is the moment of inertia of the body at cross section uh, at the liquid surface now what is the volume of liquid displaced is equal to vf equal to how much friends this uh, this is equal to what already we calculated here this is equal to what? volume of liquid displaced is equal to what area into this much height so area is equal to what pi by 4 d square into h or you can say pi by 4 d square into h value is equal to what friends h already calculated h value is equal to 2l by 3 into 2l by 3 okay so this is the volume of liquid displayed so what is the value of bm bm value is equal to what friends bm value is equal to this i least divided by volume of liquid displaced how much it will come pi by 64 into d to the power 4 divided by pi by 4 d square into 2 l by 3 how much it will come friends let's let's solve this one 
so this d square and d to the power 4 so this will cancel out and here d square will be left correct this pi to pi cancel out and this 4 4 will cancel out here 16 how much is left d square divided by 60 16 divided by 2l by 3 correct friends so it will come here this 3 will go up and 16 will come down so 3 d square by 32 32 l the 16 will come down so 16 into 2 32 and the 3 will go up so 3 d square upon 32 l we are able to get this b m okay friends b m is the value here now what is the metacentric height g m equal to this b m minus b g okay friends b m minus this b and g b m value is equal to what friends b m value is equal to 3 d square by 32 l minus b g b g already we calculated friends l by 6 something has come this b g is equal to l by 6 l by 6 so here 32 l is there minus here this l by 6 is equal to g m now friends body is stable condition when what is the question asking for stable condition a wooden cylinder of specific gravity 0 0.6 required to uh, 6 m circular in cross section is required to float in oil find the l by d ratio for the cylinder to float with its longitudinal axis vertical in oil where l is the height of the cylinder and d is its diameter friends it is saying that here first it is floating condition it is required to float in oil it means it is stable condition and floating correct find the l by d ratio for the cylinder friends if it is not floating if it is not in stable condition then what happen it will fall down its axis is not vertical since it is floating condition so we will take the criteria that the body is in stable condition so when it is a stable condition this gm First, what is the criteria for stable condition? Stable for for stable equilibrium, this GM is equal to positive. It means whatever is there, GM is equal to what friends? Positive. How it will come when this BM minus BG is there? This BM BM minus BG this bm is greater than bg it means it will lie somewhere here anyhow positive means this m is above the g whatever value m is there m anyhow it will lie above g if it is also here also so bm minus bg it will come positive so anyhow what is the condition here for stable equilibrium this metacentric height gm will be positive correct right? If it is negative means it is unstable con condition and it will not float properly. Okay. Since it is floating and is axis is vertical, so it is in the stable equilibrium. And for stable equilibrium, metacentric height is equal to positive. Okay, friends. Positive means what? This GM equal to greater than zero positive means what anyhow it is positive it is positive means it is greater than zero okay friends so yahan se jo hai three point hai this b g and m anyhow this b m minus b g how much it will come it is always greater than zero for a stable equilibrium if it is less than zero, it means it is on stable equilibrium. 
So for a stable equilibrium, this GM should be greater than zero. Okay, friends. This is stable equilibrium, GM is greater than zero. It means, friends, whatever this value is there, whatever value is there, this 3D whole square by 32L minus L by 6 should be greater than zero. Correct. This is the value of GM, and GM is greater than zero for a stable equilibrium. For stable equilibrium, what? Stable equilibrium, GM is greater than zero. So this, this also equal to zero because we have to find the ratio of L by D. That's why we are taking this relation. Okay. So 3D square by 32L is greater than how much? L by six. Now from here, this numerical value we will take this side and sorry what we have to find l by d ratio we have to find l by d ratio we have to find it means this 3 divided by 32 is greater than is greater than here see this l will go this side l square and this d square will come this side so d square and this 6 will go this side so this is 6 okay friends or we can say this l by d whole square is less than 3 into 6 18 divided by 32 getting friends l by d this value is greater than this value or we can say this value is less than this value so l by d whole square is less than 18 by 32 and 18 by 32 is equal to what friends 18 by 32 is equal to what this cancel out 9 and 9 by 16 so l by d is equal to what? L by D is less than root 9 by 16 and L by D is less than 3 by 4. Okay, friends, this is the condition for stable equilibrium. See, this L by D length A by dia is equal to less than 3 by 4, it should come. This under root 9 value is equal to 3 and under root 16 value is equal to 4. So L by D is less than 3 by 4. Okay, friends, so in this case, in this case, it is asking that find the L by D ratio for the cylindrical to float with its longitudinal axis vertical in oil. So, for in this case, what is there? L by D should be less than 3 by 4, it will come. Okay, friends. So, friends, my explanation is like this. Like, kijiye, comment, kijiye. Kisi bhi point of friends, aapko doubt ho, to aap mujhe comment box me poor sakte hain. मैं उसका आंसर देने की पूरी कोशिश करूंगा सो फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू